The conditions called for a change of setting, but it certainly wasn't enough to dampen spirits as this year's Miss Gibraltar displayed the outfit to much of the local press at the City Hall. Since being crowned back in June, Kaylee has naturally been in the public eye a great deal on the rock. But how else has her life changed? I've been so much more like busier, um, really busy, but um, so much has changed. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but since I've won, I've met so many different people and I've been involved in a lot of charity events. I've gone to different functions and events. I've been invited to shows, which is always really nice. But apart from all that, I've met people that I would never have met and um, I've had um, ideas of doing things that maybe I hadn't hadn't done before um, or thought of doing before. Washington DC will host this year's Miss World, only the second time the US will have actually staged the event. And Kaylee will have the honour of representing Gibraltar in what is undoubtedly the most prestigious of pageants. I feel tremendously proud and the amount of support that I've got from loads of people in Gibraltar, if not everyone, not everyone's just been really, really nice. Um, it feels great and I can't wait to get there and be able to talk about Gibraltar and promote it and raise awareness about Gibraltar and hopefully learn about different cultures and all the, and meet all the different women. Yet to receive her itinerary for proceedings at the event, her time in America's capital is sure to be extremely busy and there's a lot more to the Miss World show than at first meets the eye. All I know is that I need to go ready as soon as we get off the plane, we need to be ready to start our talent. So as soon as I get there, I'd be, um, I'll go, be going straight to the stage, I think. And you mentioned the talent there. Is there anything in particular you're going to be doing? Um, I'm doing a performance. I wouldn't say it's just a dance because there's an element to, like acting within it. So um, I'll say it's a performance. Already a keen supporter of a number of local initiatives and charities, her intentions are to continue helping the community and become even more hands-on with the fundraising upon her return. And when I come back, I want to kind of do a big uh, charity event for Galpe House. Um, I'm also looking to do the <laughs> med steps ten times in one day. Um, so um, hopefully I'll be opening a Just Giving page soon and I'm going to try and encourage as many people as possible to come and support me even if it means doing that once or twice or even the 10 times or 15 if you can <laughs> but basically do it as many times as we can in one day and I've got a little group together who want to support me in doing that. An exciting month ahead for this year's Miss Gibraltar with final preparations now firmly in place. Just a small matter of packing her three suitcases left.